Hello amazing people! This is your little Kanai Jaina welcome you to Phuket, Thailand! After Bangkok, about an hour trip, I flew to Phuket, Thailand. One of the top nightlight spots in the country is Bangla Road, located in the beach resort town of Patong in Phuket province. The street is close to vehicles, bars quickly set up tables and chairs on the road. Try to get a seat facing the road in order to watch the parade of tourists, locals, street performers and vendors selling everything from charm bracelets and bras to dresses and wooden handicrafts. It's the best shop in town, especially when you're enjoying it on a full stomach and everything is done with a light-hearted sense of fun and humor. After passing the first few bars upon entering Bangla Road, look for a sign on the left for street food. Upon entering this area, don't be put off by the crowds. They're there for a reason with many food stalls providing fresh fish, seafood, steaks and meats as well as rice, noodles and barbecue. And since I am a cheap Filipina, most of the time I ate the street food here in Thailand, not just because it's cheap but also it tastes really good. I was so marveled at how bountiful ocean they have here in Phuket, Thailand. They have such huge lobsters and prawns and you will always find it the same place at the same time every day and every night. And for that, I just can't sit and watch but also, I really want to try and taste the freshness of their oyster. Hmm, it was indeed mouth-watering. I would say the average cost of food in Phuket is 596 baht per day since an average cost of meal is 239. Lobster, oyster, I already ate it, crabs, pepper. Guys, I'm finally here in the island of Phuket here in Thailand and I visited today the big Buddha the third largest Buddha in Thailand country and what's amazing in this place is you can literally see the view from here of the downtown Phuket and the beaches look at those amazing beaches down there it is 45 minutes from the downtown of Phuket of course you're not allowed to wear um, backless or shorts so that's why I'm wearing my scarf <laughs> wow Standing at 45 meters high in the sky on a breezy hilltop sits the Big Buddha of Phuket, a towering figure in gleaming white jade with its serene face gazing east. Aside from the beaches, the Big Buddha is a top attraction in Phuket. It is the third tallest statue in Thailand. This was built in 2004 after the disastrous tsunami. The statue was built as a symbol of hope for the future. The site is also home to a smaller Buddha statue that is 12 meters tall and made of brass. It is dedicated to the Queen of Thailand, although not a real large temple, there is still plenty to see. 
As the Big Buddha is a spiritual site, it is recommended to wear respectful clothing recovering the knees and shoulders. If you feel you have dressed inappropriately, there are sarongs available for hire from the site center. That's why, as you can see, I was wearing my scarf to cover my shoulder. Take a look at this right here. You can actually see the Macon Bay, Thanan Island, Lawn Island, Chowlong Bay, Coral Island, Rocha Island, Promthip Cape, Kiao Island, Kata Beach, and Karen Beach. The road leading up and down from Big Buddha is winding and a bit steep in places. There are various restaurants, ATV tours, elephant rides to help you spend your money. Just like how I enjoyed the peaceful and beautiful scenery at Knockard Seaview Cave. It is a small restaurant with a superb panoramic view of Karen Beach. Prayai Changtai Elephant Camp. In this camp, you can feed, touch, ride each elephant. But I decided to just feed the elephant and since no elephants are herbivorous animals, they are strict vegetarians and meat is not on their diet list, I fed the elephant with a banana. At first, I was a bit nervous but at the same time happy because it was my first time to feed an elephant. It feels so good to be brave and try something new. They are giant, kind, and gentle animal. If you can remember, Thailand was among the countries worst hit by the Asian tsunami of December 2004. The tsunami struck the west coast of Phuket Island, flooding and causing damage to almost all the major beaches such as Patong, Karon, and Kata Beach. Nevertheless, after 19 months to 5 years, Thailand has today largely recovered. The local population who lost most or all of their belongings in the tsunami are now well on their way to recovery. And the majority of those who were living in temporary camps have now moved to new homes. While here, I was marveled how people and businesses slowly back on track after their biggest nightmare. One of the best things about Kata Beach is the location here. You'll be just renting your sunbed for 200 baht and you can find all the types of food to order while enjoying the waves and breeze in the ocean. Guys, hello! I'm here in Karen Beach today. As you can see, um, it's not as busy as like other beaches but as good as beautiful as it is. And look at the waves the sound of the waves the view the white sand and it's pretty amazing i'm here today i'm hoping to see the sunset of the day despite the clouds i hope i can i can witness a beautiful sunset for the day but yeah wow for me i i think it's even more beautiful than the name beach Let's go! <laughs> wow! So amazing view! Karen Beach in Phuket is one of the longest beaches on the island, spanning 5 km of fine white sand. This is one of the less loved beaches in Phuket, yet this makes it perfect for tourists who seek tranquility and relaxation. When you stroll on the beach, you might see at most a handful of fellow tourists. The quietness is amazing. One can easily spend hours sitting on the sand, listening to the waves, breaking and enjoying the view. You'll still have plenty of things to do like surf, parasail, swim and jet ski, but Karen makes relaxing on easy sport to undertake.
Hi guys, today I'm finally here at the Phuket, Thailand. Um, I've been to Kata Beach and Karen Beach. This beach is um, closer to the downtown of Phuket and um, a little more activities, a little more um, people and you can actually do the jet ski and the parasailing and the surfing compared to Kata and Karen Beach but um, I would say they are about the same how beautiful how white sand the beach is so one of these um, umbrellas that have chairs and tables you can actually rent them for like about 200 baht so so yeah I'm here welcome to Phuket Thailand I would say that by far this is the this is my one of my favorite country I know that I did say before that I love Vietnam but I guess I love Phuket more because you can actually find um, everything that you want to experience if you're having a vacation like beach party place food um, amazing people friendly and no wonder they call this country as the land of smile you know so take a look at this beach and the waves guys it's very very pretty very very beautiful it's so relaxing calming and such a therapeutic it's a beautiful day today i'm glad i'm here when you're finally sitting on a beach chair the view is just so amazing from far you can see the mountain this view right here reminds me of Kamegan island huh speaking of Kamegan I actually miss Philippines for me this is the, the part of Thailand that is more tropical for everyone that wants to find entertainment and fun alongside the serenity that comes with the idea of the land, Patong Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches in the area of Phuket, and it is super close to the rest of the stuff the area of Patong is famous for. It is an amazing place to just lay there and take in the beautiful sunshine, listen to the waves of the beach, and take a dive or two. The tropical ambience of the beach transports you to a different mental stage, where everything seems less serious and helps you clear your mind. This is an opportunity to discover how the beauty of Thailand and the excitement of Phuket can combine and create an experience that you will hardly forget. The Patong Beach is a must visit for everyone. If you have enough time during your visit, make sure you stay there for the whole day because there is more to Patong than just the beach. The captivating sunset views from this beach is treat to the eyes. You can feel a painting come to life as the sun changes its shades. Wow! To be honest, this was the best sunset I've ever seen in my whole life. Phuket is blessed with utterly beautiful sunset views. Be it anywhere in Phuket, the views and the aura will give you some of the best memories of all time. Make sure you don't miss the beautiful sunset in Phuket when visiting.
There are a lot of different ways you can throw a party to celebrate our birthday. The important thing is to make it memorable. So have I ever thought about zipline? Yes. Instead of buying stuff for my birthday, I do stuff. Like I want to make memories. So come and join me on my Talk 30 to me birthday adventure. I think this time we're going up higher. So wish me luck. More, more, lean back, free hand, free hand. Yeah, look up, look up. <laughs> was really amazing experience and it was so fun I don't know I'm just so glad I did it and if you have something to say which part was curious which part was exciting you know comment down below in this video and yeah it was a great experience you should at least try it when you're in Phuket Thailand I hope this video gives you ideas on places to visit and things to do when visiting Phuket, Thailand. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me comments down below. And as always, can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye!